Hey everybody, welcome back to my last place of heaven outdoors. I'm Joey. Uh, a lot of you all have been asking me about the chestnuts and asking me about how they're doing. And uh, today we're going to do a little update. Check out and see how they're doing inside their containers and possibly even start planting them since the last frost, frost date has now passed. So come with me while we take a look inside the uh, containers and we'll, uh, well first we need to get them out of the garage, out of the refrigerator and and we'll come back out here and we'll take a look at them together. Alright guys, this is the uh, Dunstan seed nuts that I had gotten from uh, Dunstan of... What was that place called? Chestnut Ridge of Pike County. And first nut we pull up, you can definitely see it started to sprout right there. We'll gently stick that one back in there. The second one, not so much going on. Oh, there's a nice one there, though. It's got two uh, sprouts coming out of it. And the chestnuts will have two sprouts. They'll have one for the root and one for the actual tree. There's another one. So it looks like these are ready to be planted. There's another one that don't have nothing going on. That's a nice long one there. Oh, a real long one there. It looks like it's time to get these planted. So come along as we uh, put these in some dirt and sit them outside. Alright guys, before we get started planting these trees, I wanted to show you uh, what kind of mixture I'll be using to grow them in. And uh, you want to use a soilless mixture, but I've seen some other people using the Miracle Grow potting mix. I'm going to give that a try. So I'm going to run two tests. I'm going to do a, the Miracle Grow potting soil because that's actually cheaper than this other stuff I bought. And the other stuff is actually called Pro Mix PGX. I'll give you a look at that right now. And you had to order. I had to order this from a uh, greenhouse place. And this is wet. Chestnut Hill of Pike County, they recommended using the PGX Pro Mix. So I thought I would give that a try, but it is expensive. It's like $50 for that bag right there. So I'm going to run two experiments. I'm going to try half with the Pro Mix, the other half with the Miracle Grow. And if they both seem to do this, grow about the same in both, then I will definitely buy the cheaper of the two next time. All right, everybody. We are going to start with the Miracle Grow first, and all I'm going to do is scoop it in there. Fill it up about an inch from the top. And for now, I'm just going to stick this one off to the side over there. I'm going to do my experiment. I'm only going to do 10 of the uh, potting mixture with the moisture control. The rest of them I will use the uh, PGX Pro Mix on. Like I said, if they grow good in this potting mix, I'll probably just use potting mix next year because it's cheap. Well, whenever I run out of the other stuff, because that stuff should last a pretty good while. We have four. And 10. The rest of them we'll be using the PGX Pro Mix. Now as far as planting them, I just want to uh, put this little hole down there in the middle so that root doesn't get bent or broke. And you can just lay them right on the top like that and then just maybe throw a little bit more soil on them. But they don't even have to be covered. 
as long as the roots in the ground and that's it Got 80 more to do like that or about 74 because we had to throw a couple of them away yeah if you remember I was a little worried though at first because they wasn't seem to be growing all that good but quite a, quite a few of them took off doing pretty good now just seed it down in there pretty good now I'm just gonna put a little extra on top and I'll keep going like that and I'll get back to you shortly I don't know if you can see this one or not that's a little too far away this one actually had a little bit of mold on it. I just wiped it off. It's still growing, so I'm guessing it'll be okay. And that's the 10 on my experiment with the uh, potting mix. And we'll just see how those go. We'll keep those a little separate. I'll probably put them on one side or the other to keep them separate. And we'll get started with the rest. All right, this is the uh, PGX. It says growing medium substrate culture. It looks a lot like peat moss. It does have peat moss in it. And as soon as I find the ingredients, I'll tell you exactly what it has in it. But it must be on the bottom of the plant. Oh, there it is. Peyton found it. It is peat contains peat moss, vermiculite, dominic, dom, dom, domic, and callow. I don't know. I can't read it. I'll get a close up. Y'all can read it yourself. Ingredients, right? Uh, let me get out of your light here. I'll figure it out in a second here. Where'd it go? Ingredients. That's the ingredients. And this is the uh, PGX. Like I said, it feels a lot like pot and soil. And we're just going to do this the same way. Just stick it in there. Push it down a little bit. And add a little bit more around the top. And you're actually supposed to plant these flat, but this one planted kind of sideways. So as long as that root's facing down, that's the way we're going to plant it. It's facing down. And we just came across one that has mold all over it. If you remember in a uh, previous video I did, and I'll post that up in the top left corner, that when the dirt clumps around them like that, it usually has mold. And you can see the yellow or greenish, bluish colored mold in there. And I changed my strategy a little bit. I uh, decided to fill them all up to the top. And just press them into the soil a little bit without trying to uh, damage their sprout they got going on. And then just pack down around it a little bit. When we put water in it, it'll tighten it down a little bit more around the uh, nuts and seeds. So some, some of these are actually trying to grow up instead of down. I, everything I've read, you're supposed to put them flat side down, but since that uh, stem's going down, I guess we'll plant it upside down. I don't have no idea. And I'm trying to be real gentle digging them out because we don't want to break that tap root they got started. And these bottles are about six inches tall. I made these bottles to save me some money instead of buying 
planters. Or seed planters. I just made these bottles. You guys have already seen the uh, video where me and Peyton made this table, but we added some stuff to it yesterday, and I'll show you that when we get done here. Now these were the extra large nuts, and if you remember, this, I bought a pound of seed nuts and a pound of extra large nuts. The extra nut, large nuts are actually cheaper, and these were made, sold for eating, but you can see they still, they still sprouted, and at half the price, it may be better just to buy the regular nuts because it's less per pound and I can tell by looking at them I have a pretty good bit that sprouted so just so you know for reference I had five that did not sprout and one that had mold on, mold on it out of the seed nuts and we'll check to see how many did not sprout out of the extra large nuts when we get done all right guys we got all the chestnuts potted up i had 38 of the seed nuts that sprouted with six that did not sprout one five that did not sprout one that had mold on it and out of the extra large chestnuts had 34 that sprouted and one that did not sprout so I had to go look up my original numbers of how many I had of each but for the money I, next time I'm just buying the extra large chestnuts or even the medium chestnuts let me give you a look at what I got so far I still gotta put them I want to show I told you all I was going to show you the cage that or the table that me and Peyton built we added more to it and made it look more like a cage take a look at this you can uh, see we put wire mesh all the way around. I put a wire mesh in the middle because I did not have enough wire mesh to finish the other side of the table. And I do have a door made, so I'm going to put a door right in here. But uh, that should keep the squirrels out. And these are the seed nuts right here. And I have the tin back there. I still got a water to try to uh, my experiment on. And these are all the extra large nuts right here. I still got to put them in the table. And I was looking at these nuts. And even though this one did not sprout, you see how it split? A lot of them were split and they were sprouting. This one does have a little sprout. Looks like it's trying to come out. So I'm going to try to plant some of these just to see if they will grow. Now this one here looks totally bad. So I don't know about that one. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to just put them in dirt and just see how they do. Maybe they'll come out looking pretty good. Maybe they won't. Who knows? But I'm going to give it a try. So let me get the rest of these uh, chestnuts put in my cage. And I'll be back. Alright guys, we got all of them in the cage now. Uh, these are the seedlings. These were the extra large. I'm sorry. I know you can't see. This side was the seedlings. This side was the extra large nuts. And in the middle, I got two rows of the ones I'm going to try with the Miracle Grow. So uh, we'll see how they do, and I'll let you know in uh, probably bi weekly updates. I'm going to take another look at this table, and I'll show you where I messed up on this design. So I got the door on this side. So basically, I pushed all the seeds this way, and I wedged the board back there to keep anything from rolling over. Of course, I had two left. I think I'm just going to make another board. And, uh, put through there and pinch them up against the side I did not have enough wire to finish this side and I didn't want to go to the store to get any oh and I still need to make a few more containers because I have a few nuts that did not sprout but I am definitely going to try to put them in containers and see if they will grow and I will let you know how they do but my design flaw I did not put a door in the back and I'm definitely going to need a door because I cannot reach all the way across. It's four foot wide. And another thing I don't like is my flooring is a little... It's not very strong. It's got high spots, low spots. The, the uh, plants tend to want to lean to one side or the other. But all in all, I like it. I may just throw some more 
two by four supports underneath the wire next year and staple them down to that. Or I may just take out the wire altogether and just put slats across there. Or maybe a piece of plywood and just drill a bunch of holes in it so the water can get out. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, video. I know a lot of you all were interested in knowing how the chestnuts were doing. And they're sprouting. So now the step is to see if we get any trees. So if you like this video, hit that uh, thumbs up and leave a comment. And for you guys that aren't subscribed yet, yeah, you know who you are. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost nothing. And I will see everybody next time. You all have a great day.